You're listening to Praying with Power and Purpose. The Lord bless you, dear ones, and welcome to another episode of Praying with Power and Purpose. This is Z. I hope you're having a, an amazing July 2021. This month is almost over, but it has been extraordinarily exciting, and I love it because it's my birthday month, and when exciting things happen during my birthday month, I always feel like the Lord's doing these things especially for me. Let's go ahead and give him thanks, praise, honor, and glory because he is so worth it. Lord, I just bless you. I praise you. I magnify you. Jesus, Heavenly Father, you have been showing off and showing out. And I'm so blessed to be your daughter. I'm so blessed to be in covenant relationship with you. I give you praise. I give you honor. I give you glory. I magnify you, Lord. I pray that everybody who's listening to this checks their doubt at the door and does not pick it up on the way out let these testimonies go down into the soul of their spirit the soil of their spirits and grow so that they can come into the exact blessings that you have ordained for them in their lifetimes and those blessings are extensive they are extravagant they are miraculous they are supernatural they are exceeding abundantly above all they can think hope or imagine according to the power at work in them Lord, we praise you that you are faithful to your word. And we thank you that the word works. We thank you that sowing seed works. We thank you and we praise you that you are not a man who lies, nor are you a man who changes your mind once you decree a thing. You keep every promise that you make. We magnify you, honor you, glorify you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. All right, dear ones. Today, July 21st, 2021 was such an amazing day. We're in about, I would say the 10th of Av, if I remember correctly. Oh, nope, the 12th of Av. Um, I lost a couple days. Wow. Okay, so this is a month where the promised land is before you. This is the month when in numbers, the 12 spies went into the promised land and 10 of them came back with the negative report. And Joshua and Caleb, of course, were full of faith. And they said, we can surely go up and take this land, which they... Um, were already told by the Lord that they could go in and take it. So they should have been in, you know, everybody should have been in full faith. They shouldn't have been worried about what was going on around them. They should have just gone in to conquer. You know, he had already been doing amazing things for them with the Egyptians and stuff. So I don't know why the doubt came in, but I tell people that all the time when I'm ministering to them, when they call and ask for prayer, when they're talking about their financial situations, that type of stuff. And I always say, well, if God did that for you, you have no reason to not to trust him for the next thing. You know, he's not going to deliver you out of one thing and then leave you laying in a pit for the next thing. That's not how he operates, but it's up to you to move forward in faith. You know, you, and you can't stay with that same level of faith forever. You need to be growing and growing and growing and let the Lord do more and more and more. So for instance, let me share with you some of the testimonies that I have. So I came into the season of my personal Jubilee and I, um, have been declaring that since the Lord told me to on December 26th of 2020. So I've been declaring it for all these seven months of this year. And um, I've been experiencing the blessings of Jubilee, you know, debt cancellations, property returned, all kinds of stuff, all those things that the Lord promises, miracle signs and wonders, all of that stuff, Um, freedom, mind, body, soul, spirit, uh, financially, materially, physically, all of that, all of that freedom. I've been experiencing all of that stuff. And, um, you know, sometimes we forget that the more delivered you are, the more healed your soul is, the more mature your spirit is, the easier it is for you to pull things out of heaven into your spirit, which is where the portal exists. You know, your spirit is a portal between heaven and earth. It's your immediate and direct connection to the father and to, to the realms of heaven. So when you're taking things out of heaven that you need to manifest in the spiritual realm, they come through that portal of your spirit. So the more mature your spirit is, the easier it is for you to grab things out of heaven. I've been making withdrawals out of my heavenly storehouse this summer. I'm telling you, listen, I, um, also have, am being blessed because the Lord has been delivering me, you know, of some hangups. He called them that weren't necessarily big blockages in my life, but they were things that could stop me potentially from doing what he has um, ordained and offered for me to do. So I've been going through deliverance. I've been declaring what he told me to declare. I've been obedient the way he told me to be obedient. And he is rewarding me for that. You know, so it's like when I got into um, 
the right positioning, the right alignment and the right timeline for what he wanted to do in my life and was saying yes to him, not worrying about, you know, the things in the natural, not worrying about how I quote unquote was going to be able to do something, but trusting him for it. He um, has also opened up the financial realm. So it's like um, back in March, I was getting $1,000 seeds for the ministry. Then they jumped up to, you know, a $14,000 seed for the ministry. And then, you know, now I'm up to more than that, twice that. So that's the type of stuff that the Lord is doing in this season. And he has been answering all kinds of prayers for me. Listen, let me tell you, a couple of weeks ago, I was asleep. It was 1250 a.m., right? And I was sleeping good. I was in the middle of sleep. And this angel comes flying at me. And, you know, he it's like he kind of turned into a megaphone when he got closer. And in and it wasn't, you know, just a like a body type thing coming at me. And he says to me that would, the Lord has done that which you have asked of him. Right. And I was so excited that he said that, you know, I couldn't go back to sleep. I'm like, Lord, why are you send me these messages in the middle of the night? You know, I have to get up early in the morning. And I was so excited. I couldn't sleep. I'm up texting people. This angel just came in and I got an announcement. You know, the Lord has done something that I asked for him. And then so today was a manifestation of that. So basically, I had asked the Lord for I want to lump sum, you know, 25,000. And then I um upped it. And I said, no, I want 30,000. And I got that handed to me today. So the Lord did that, which I asked of him. And he did it because I asked him for it for so that I could, you know, go into ministry comfortably and not have to worry about how things were going to be paying for not having to worry about seeds coming in or not coming in any of that stuff. But I could do all the service and all the giving that I want to do. And, you know, um, it may be hard for some people to understand how these things happen to some people, but they don't happen to others. But you have to understand that I am in a ridiculous giver. You know, even as a single mother, I give and give and give and give. And I'm talking about, I went through the process of doubling all of my um, planned giving in July, 2021. I doubled what I have been doing, you know, between January and June of 2021, I doubled it in July. So that's why I was able to get that lump sum. So you may be thinking that's, you know, that's kind of wild. That's kind of outrageous. But no, I, I sowed for it. I believe for it. And I know that the Lord is faithful. And let me tell you, he loves a cheerful giver. He says that. And then I also have scriptures that back up the things that I believe in the things that motivate my actions and stuff like that. So it's not just like willy nilly out there, you know, and it's not just trying to get things. What you have to understand is, is that if you live a lifestyle of being a giver, the Lord's going to make sure you always have seed to sow, right? That's what second Corinthians nine ten says. That's one of my favorite scriptures. I've got a, um, the most popular post on my, all of my websites ever is the double seed experiment where I explain how I got the revelation for that scripture and I tested it out and boom, I've just been exploding since then because the word of God cannot return void. The law of sowing and reaping is a law. It's universal. You know, whether you believe God, whether you don't believe God, you're going to get a return on anything you put out there. So if you're constantly sowing financial seeds, you're going to be constantly reaping in the financial realm. It's um, cut and dry, point blank, very simple. And then, of course, yes, there are cases where, you know, some people's financial harvests are blocked. There are cases when some people are killing their harvest and plucking up their own seeds because of the words that they speak. And I have a video on that on my YouTube channel that's that's called um, how we curse our own finances. Your mouth determines what's happening in your life. Matter of fact, that reminds me, I am teaching a workshop on Thursday, July 29th at 6 p.m. Pacific slash Arizona time. And it's called creation list words frame worlds. If you register by tonight, July 22nd, 2021, you can get a free creation list journal, but you also have to attend to get it because I'm going to need your address and all that good stuff. So just go to um, zm7academy.us and click on shop. And the course is the very first thing there. It's free. There's no charge for it. Please share it and, and share it with your friends because there's so many people out there that have horrible mouths and they wonder why they can't break through in their lives. And I see it and I hear it all the time. You know, like, um, 
just yesterday, my friend was saying, well, I'm a little, I'm a little bit OCD. Well, why would you be speaking that? Why do you claim that, you know, wearing it like a badge? I'm OCD. You know what? I don't, I don't understand. Why would you want to, um, you know, be declaring that dysfunction as if it's, you know, the mark of greatness or something, you know, it's, it's a flaw and you are making sure that you're going to be OCD forever by declaring it as yours and, you know, being proud to display it and share it with the world, you know, or as I'm somebody out there who's walking around my house when I'm going from upstairs to downstairs saying I am rich. And the reason I say that is because I've seen my heavenly storehouse and I am rich, you know, and you probably are, too. If you've been sowing the word of God, if you've been serving other people, if you've been loving other people, if you've been forgiving other people and you've been sowing seeds into the kingdom, you know, so you can be declaring that, too, and then you'll be able to grab things out of that storehouse, bring them into the natural realm and get things taken care of. Another testimony I want to share with you. Um, So my son got the scholarship for gaming, right? Manifestation of a prophecy from 2016. And um, um, my son told me the other day, he was like, you you have this meeting to talk to the esports manager. And I said, okay. And I said, when I talk to him, I declare that Um, he's going to say we have more money available than we thought. And then we didn't even get to have the appointment today because he was so busy. So we rescheduled to next week. And guess what? My son got more money than we thought it was going to be. Ha! See, that's what words do for us, that type of stuff. So if you need help getting into that place where you want to fix your words so that they align with the word of God, definitely register for that course. Like I said, it is free. Um, Yes. So go to zm7academy.us, click on shop and you can register for the course. And um, just so you know, if you sign up for the course, you are going to get put on my email list, but I don't spam a lot. I usually write at the most one email a week and then, you know, not even every week because I just don't have time to do that at this point. But I bless you in Jesus name. That's all I want to share with you. I bless you in Jesus name. I thank you for your time. I honor you. I glorify the Lord and give thanks to him because he is faithful. He said that if we build this ministry, that people would come and people would sow into it. And that is totally happening, totally true. And so I just honor all of you. I thank you for your faithfulness. I thank you for your trust and know that we are out there trying to bless people. Um, Patty and I, we are big givers and we're always looking for things to do. We have a, um, a healing institute coming up soon as well, because so many people in the body of Christ need healing, not to mention all the other people who are suffering through the medical system with all of its issues. And there are major issues, but we're going to be turning that stuff around, getting people healed so they can come out of the hospitals, come out of the medical system and experience the touch of the Lord. Also, that reminded me of another thing. If you go to zm7academy.us, click on prophecy, which is the blog. I have a post up there from this week and heaven has job openings. So if you want to get paid what you're worth, you know, then take an assignment from the Lord, you know, so read that post. Um, If you're interested, apply for one of his jobs and let me know how it goes for sure. I want to know. Uh, the process that he takes you through and how it pans out. And of course, if you need any assistance or anything like that, I can always help you. You are able to send prayer requests to us at 1123ministries at gmail.com. We pray over those requests. We pray over the people. And um, we also do prayer calls. So, you know, that's an option. All right. Again, I bless you in Jesus' name. And thank you so much for sitting with me as we listen through this. Don't forget to go to supernaturalubooks.info. Check out some resources over there. There'll be a tremendous blessing to you. And I hope that you are experiencing the fullness of the joy of the Lord. And you experience that by being in his presence. So get there and get to know him, love on him, and let him show you all of who he is. You will not be disappointed. And I am a witness of that. All right. Again, don't forget to visit me at supernaturalubooks.info. ZM7academy.us forward slash shop will allow you to register for the course. 1123.life is the ministry website if you want to take a look at what we have going on there and be looking out for those healing um, institutes that we'll have going on. Okay, take care. Hi, this is Zari. If you've enjoyed supping on the Word of God with me today, I invite you to partner with me in this kingdom work. 
Your partnership in this fertile soil gives you legal access to every anointing my ministry operates in. Multiply, because that's my decree for you. Thank you, and be exceedingly blessed in Jesus' name.